Hi, Josh here with the St. Louis Science Center at the Science Off Center team with another experiment that you can try at home. This one is my favorite because we're going to actually grow a salt crystal garden. So the ingredients that you'll need, something to have your salt crystals in, something spongy, this is obviously a charcoal, but a normal sponge would work, something to mix in, a mixer, a spoon to measure, Food coloring is totally optional, but sometimes it's fun to make it pretty colors. Mrs. Stewart's liquid bluing, used, in used as a laundry detergent. You can usually find this in the laundry aisle or the soap aisle in grocery stores. Ammonia, and of course, salt. So first, take your sponge, or charcoal, and put it in your cup. Then we're going to mix equal parts of Mrs. Stewart's bluing, ammonia, and salt. So it doesn't actually matter how much we put in, so which is why I can just use a spoon, but it has to be the exact same amount. So I'm gonna use a spoonful. So we do a spoonful of liquid bluing. We do a spoonful of ammonia. And of course, a spoonful of salt. There's a little extra salt in there, but that's okay. So then we're going to start mixing. And you're going to keep mixing until most of the salt is dissolved, or at least a good portion of it. All the salt won't dissolve, but you want to get as much as possible. So after stirring for about a minute, we're going to pour it onto our charcoal or sponge. Now when you pour it, you want to make sure to get as much salt on top of the sponge or charcoal as possible. So really go ahead and just cake it on. Get all the salt out, pile it up on the top, and then if you want to add some food coloring, now would be the time. Just take one or two drops. and put it right there on top. And now, let it sit overnight. Welcome back. We've let our crystals sit overnight. So let's take a closer look and see if we have any growth. So you can see a little bit of crystal growth around the outside of our piece of charcoal. And there's a little bit on top, but not too much. So when you try this at home, try letting it sit for two days and see what happens. And I also brought along several examples of ones that I've done in the past to see how different they can look. So this is the one that we just did. This one over here, I did a while ago using green food coloring. And these two right here, I did with, without using any food coloring at all. So play around with the, with the recipe and let us know how it works at scienceoffcenter.org. 